Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric, and today I'm talking about the new comics that I picked up on February 12th, 2020. Uh, but before I get to the comics, this is comics adjacent because it's an excellent children's book that just came out, and it's by my friend Hannah. Uh, it's 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 great. It's called Otter and Bird, and it's uh, it's published by Olympia Publishers. So go to olympiapublishers.com. You can find it on there, and it's also on amazon.com. Um, I think the I think Olympia Publishers is a UK based uh, company. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you can order it in the U S from there, uh, but you can definitely order it in the U S from, uh, from Amazon, which is where I ordered it. And yeah, it's a great check it out. All right. So, uh, another, uh, book for, for young ones, um, that I picked up was Zatanna and the house of secrets. This is, uh, part of the DC graphic novels for kids. Um, and I'm I'm pretty excited for this one because it's uh, it's in the world of magic, which we haven't seen in this line of books yet. Um, it's all it's been like uh, Black Canary and um, or some of the other ones. This is the first one with one of the magic users, so that one is going to be pretty fun. Um, and so that brings us to the new comics for this week. Um, I, I was going to try and see Birds of Prey again, um, but I haven't gotten to that yet. But this weekend, we do have two. I mean, these aren't comic book related, but we have Blumhouse's uh, Mystery Island, Fantasy Island. Sorry. Uh, that's very, very different. Not really that different. Well, Jules Verne wrote Myster- The Mysterious Island, but not The Mystery. Anyway, whatever. Um, that movie comes out this weekend. I'm excited for that. And Sonic the Hedgehog, the Hedgehog comes out this weekend. Um, and hopefully I can see both of those or just one of those, um, during my trip. Uh, I'm up in just a couple of hours. I'm headed to the airport, um, to go up to, uh, Seattle and Vancouver and Portland for wrestling shows and some other stuff, including seeing middle ditch and Schwartz at just for last Vancouver. And, I kind of want to try to see uh, Sonic the Hedgehog before that. Um, If there's a movie theater, yeah, if there's a movie theater nearby, I might be able to see it uh, late Friday night uh, because it's a West Coast show. So Smackdown and 205 Live, that's going to be over at about eight o'clock. So that'll leave plenty of time to see a movie in the evening. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm really excited for both of those movies and to see Harley Quinn again. But we have Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey book one um, on the from DC Black Label. Um, I only got one of the covers. I'm not sure if this is the main cover or the uh, secondary one. But um, yeah, it has me even more excited for it. I'm excited to read this. I haven't heard anything about this comic, um, how it compares to other birds of prey stuff, other Harley Quinn stuff, all that, but it's black label. So it's going to have some good stuff in there. Um, and then we have Vampirella, the, uh, dynamite magazine format, Vampirella, uh, issue number three. So I guess they are just, they are continuing, uh, putting, putting these out from the beginning. So that's cool. Um, all right. In reverse alphabetical order, cause that's the way things are stacked up right now. Uh, we have wonder woman number 751. Another, uh, I got another great Jenny prison cover. I'm not sure which, when it's going to be her last cover. Maybe this one is the last, maybe, maybe <clears throat> 752 is the last. I don't know, but, um, I'm enjoying them while we still are getting them. Then we have uh, Vampirella Red Sonia number six. I think this is the B cover. Um, no, it's the A cover. That's interesting. It's it's a very very cartoony. Um, and done in like kind of like a pastel. Um. The the pat like I don't know how I I'm I I can't think of the words I'm trying to use, but it's very different from the primary covers the the main covers for the vampirella books that i've seen but um it is pretty cool i like it um and then we have symbiote spider-man alternate reality issue number three um he's there wearing that dr strange cloak 
I think that's a Doctor Strange cloak. I don't know what's going on there. I haven't. I have not caught up on that. You have Superman Heroes number one. The truth will set him free. The future of the DC universe begins here. I guess we'll see about that. I'm I'm not caught. I I am almost caught up. I haven't read any of uh, uh, Superman having revealed his identity, but that's kind of. Huh. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's going on with that. Um, then we have Superman number 20. We've got the uh, variant cover for that. He's, uh, I don't know what's happening. He's in a big blast full of rubble and red energy. I think he's blasting something and we're inside of the thing that is being <laughs> blasted. I don't know. If you saw the cover, you I think maybe my words made a little make a little bit of sense. They have Supergirl number thirty nine. I, I, I every t- every every chance I get to talk about Supergirl, I got to mention how much I really, 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 really like Infected Supergirl. It's my favorite version of the character ever. She's great, and I I believe this continues it, but I might be an issue behind, and maybe that has ended in the last issue. I'm not sure. But it's going on with all the Batman who laughs stuff and everything. Then we have Stranger Things number two of four, Into the Fire. Um, I did like the first issue, um, even though I didn't didn't know any of the characters. I thought it did an all right job of, you know, making sense for it not if for for that being the first thing that I read in a while. Then we have the Napoleon Dynamite Valentine's Day special. We've got a Valentine that he has drawn. <laughs> That's pretty. It's like a it's a pop up Valentine. That's fun, and then there's a balloon with Pedro's face on it. That's great. Is her name? What is her name? I was trying to remember her name last week, and I couldn't remember it. Then we have Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number six of six. So I got the uh, all three covers. Main co- so the main cover and then the variant B and C. Uh, the two two covers spread. That's some really nice artwork um, by Brooks, I think. His signature is only on the Harley Quinn side of it. But uh, then the main cover, the only kill, you only kill the ones you love. Um, so they are going after this other plant person. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how that concludes. Um, like I said in the last week's episode, I really, okay, some... I, I guess they're they maybe have already announced that they're working on a Gotham City Sirens movie or something like that, which would have Harley Quinn in it, of course. But um and maybe maybe that one would have is I'm not I'm not super familiar with the Gotham City Sirens, the whole history of that and all that. So maybe that would include Poison Ivy anyway. But I want to see a, a Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy movie. It just could be called Harley and Ivy and it would be really straight like it's it's these two doing stuff just go see it speaking of gotham city we have gotham city monsters number six of six the malevolence of melmoth um so i just got the the main cover there they have the flash uh giants number three uh let's see it's five action-packed stories uh a real rat race green arrow back from the dead uh gorilla garage shadow uh, Adam Kronos and also featuring Blue Beetle. Um, so yeah, a, a great another great co- uh, collection. I think this is also out. I'm not sure if it's out before it is at comic book shops when it's at Walmart. But if you if you don't have a comic shop near you and you want to get some great like great value big books full of DC, check it out. Uh, uh, they have them at Walmarts, in addition to at comic shops. Then we have the Flash number eighty-eight. Um, he's bursting through a bunch of guys in uh, looks like spacesuits. So I don't know what's going on with that. One of them has a camera, so that maybe they're on like some type of uh, science expedition. I don't know. And sometimes those variant covers have nothing to do with goes what's going on in the book anyway. Then you have Deja Thoris number three. Um, I think this is the main cover, but it's uh, it's got a great painted look to it. Yep, it's the cover A. And um, yeah, I think I've read issue number one, but not number two yet. And I can't, 
I can't remember what was going on in that one. Uh, and then we have Catwoman number 20. Got this awesome variant cover with uh, her in the city. And then a cat is it, it, it has a necklace for her. So that's, that's nice. I like that. Uh, then we have Blackwood, the morning after issue number one. I don't know anything about this, but I had subscribed to the first run of Blackwood. So um, they just uh, kept me on for that. So I, I did like I did like uh, that, that first run of Blackwood. So uh, but I, I have to remind myself of what happened back then. And then we have the Batman's Grave number five. Uh, we got the variant cover here with Batman in the middle of a bunch of flames. Uh, Batman Raj al Ghul, issue number four of six. Uh, or is it Batman versus? I don't know. There's there's a a big mutant creature that's covering most of the title. So I, I think it's Batman versus Raj al Ghul. Um, then we have Batman Pennyworth, R.I.P. Number one. I think this is a one shot. So we have Batman's Grave, we have Batman, Pennyworth, R.I.P., all these people dying, all of that, but maybe not actually dying. I don't know. And Batman the Outsider, lots of Batman this week. Batman the Outsider is number 10. Um, we've got, uh, was is that Katana? Is that her name? Her on the cover there getting, like, with a, a bunch of bullets and she's slicing them in half. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Then we have Archie, 1955, number five of five. This is complete. Another one. Collection complete. And now I can go and read all of them at once, but not until like next week at the very least, because I got to get going to the airport real soon. Then we have The Amazing Spider, issue number 39, legacy number 840. We have uh, Spider-Man and J. 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 Jonah Jameson fighting over the uh, a podcast spraying their spit spittle all into the microphones and all that and then finally this is not in alphabetical order but it is the dollhouse family issue number four i feel like i might have missed number two and number three maybe i'm not sure but i am enjoying all these hill house books so far um so that's that's everything i picked up um as usual mostly dc stuff um i think the only with w- the only marvel stuff this week was um amazing spider-man and symbiote spider-man alien reality um yeah i think that would th- yeah i do think that's all the only marvel stuff that i got this week so much batman so much harley quinn so much gotham city in general but i am excited for all of it and go see birds of prey it's so so good um and i'm hearing great things about sonic the hedgehog i'm excited to see that uh in the very near future um and i think that's about it swamp thing came out on uh blu-ray this week uh i'm hoping that my copy gets here in the next couple of hours otherwise it's gonna be in sitting in the the package lockers, and it might I might not make it back in time to get it out of there. But we'll we'll see about that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much. I think that's pretty much every, everything to talk about for this week. Um, let me know. I of I. I haven't had a chance to read any of these. That's why I didn't go really into depth. The only thing that I did read was Otter and Bird. It's great. Go check it out. Again, it's on Amazon and uh, OlympiaPublishers.com. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully I can get some some stuff read, uh, mostly older stuff. Get caught up on uh, you know so like some some Catwoman and Batwoman, all of that um, on DC, the DC Universe app. Um, but. Uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about everything that came out this week, what you're excited for coming up in the next few weeks um, by tweeting me at TIW Podcast. Go to TIWpodcast.com for more reviews. If you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site, please share some links with your friends. Subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you like to listen. Stay safe out there in all the infinite multiverses, and I'll see you next time here on TIW Podcast. Bye.